Einstein described matter as a form of energy, just as ice cubes, steam, and rain are all forms of water. Everything is made up of molecules, and molecules consist of atoms that are in a permanent state of flux. This constant movement creates energy. Hence, every single thing, objects, animals, and people, are constantly giving off the energy they're creating. Everything in our world is vibrating with energy. So, if you can learn how to marshal, nurture, and steer your own energy. Discern and strategize how to engage and disengage with other people's energies, and reconcile with the energies of the world around you. You can begin taking back control of your life. You become the most in control of your personal destiny as possible. Hey guys, it's N A T A L E E back with another video. It's just a real quick little tidbit. I was just talking to Scorpio actually over on Patreon and the weekly it just came up in the tarot spread. It's loving no, wait. It's something hearts and loving darts. It's something it's it's the weekly, it's over on Patreon if you want to take a look. Patreon.com slash the Artigan. Anyway, Saturn and Aquarius came up and you um, you were born with Saturn and Aquarius. If you're watching this, it's going to be in the title. And um, if that's the case, which it is, you will have your Saturn return coming up when Saturn enters Aquarius in the middle of December. Very, very, very soon. You had a little bit of a dip earlier in the spring of this and now he's going to be in Aquarius for good. So welcome to your Saturn return and... <clears throat> buckle up because Saturn in Aquarius is very, very detached. And the aspect of that detachment that I'm going to be talking to you right now is the body dysmorphia, where you are disconnected from your own self. And if that sounds crazy, think about what normal people will say, I'm ashamed of myself. Well, what part of you is ashamed of what other part of you? So you're already talking about like splitting right there. So anyway, with um, Saturn and Aquarius, body dysmorphia can be where you just don't see yourself clearly and you, you, you want to change yourself. And because Saturn is in Aquarius and, and it's very disconnected energy, you're able to do that. You're able to dissociate. You're able to um, disconnect from your body for the wrong reasons at the beginning of this transit. So be really careful of anything that you're doing to change your appearance because first of all, Aquarius is very the oddball of the Zodiac. I mean, it's just very, very different, wants to be very different, wants to be unique, but Saturn's all about belonging in, t in, in the, like the upper crust or is it crust? No, it's upper crust. And, um, fitting in and being accepted and being validated and receiving praise and notoriety and prestige. So with Saturn, that's why Saturn's naturally in Capricorn because Capricorn's all about that. But Saturn in Aquarius wants to be accepted for being unique, wants to be celebrated for being unique, wants to be, you know, put up on a very high pedestal for being unique. But if you're going through your Saturn, if you're going to be going through your Saturn return, the the beginning of this is going to just kind of take away a lot of resources. Um, and in this particular perspective with the body dysmorphia, it's going to take away, he's going to take away your confidence in yourself. And you may have distorted views of seeing yourself physically. So really pay attention to that because you may want to change yourself in order to fit in with the crowd or fit in with like modern beauty standards or fit in in the way you think you need to. And um, you may even want to change your appearance to not fit in. It could go, it could swing in the very opposite direction where you want to change your look so drastically where you feel more validated the more you stand out. But if that's not truly authentically you, that's not going to work. It won't work. 
and I just I just don't want anyone to like go out and do things that are like for instance my moon's in Aquarius, so I can really, the way, I mean, I go, I, I had thought about it so much throughout the years, two things, getting horns, like you can get posts in your, you can get, it's like, a, I think it's like a magnet or like a screw, you can get surgical posts like under your skin where you just screw on the horn and it heals and it's like a thing and I was like, oh my God, I want that, you know, I wanted to do that for a long time and I wanted to split my tongue they cut your tongue and like your tongue bleeds a lot, but then it learns how to move independently and you can like play with it. I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And I was really, I had to really like steal myself not to do those things because it would be easy for me. It would be easy for me to, that's like one, those are like two weird manifestations of that kind of energy. You see that a lot with extensive plastic surgery, extensive um, body changes is that, you know, with Saturn and Aquarius, you'll be able to do that because of the, the dissociating um, quality of it. It's like very much heightened and the desire to do it or the desire to fit in, the desire to be um, famous, the desire to be validated, the desire to be... Um, it's something with status, whatever you perceive in your mind as famous or having status or being respected or being celebrated and being praised, you'll do things to change how you look to get that. So just be careful. I, I really recommend not doing any of that, like at least the first year, especially Jupiter's there. Jupiter could make you go and like do something super drastic and he, he picks up some dignity after leaving Capricorn, but I mean... It's just like a thing and, and Jupiter could even expand that distortion, expand that distorted view of yourself, like looking in a fun house mirror. You might think that you're um, larger or smaller than you really truly are or how you're like generally perceived. Or you might think that you, that people are staring at something right here and, and you're just flipping out about it and like there's nothing there or you don't, no one sees that. You know, it's it's very dys, dystopian, very, you know, it, it's just very, like, inaccurate. You're, so just know that if those feelings are coming up, that you're not seeing yourself clearly. And I just don't want anyone to, like, run and do something really crazy, that's all. Because undoing that's like a whole thing, and it's not. That's not where the work is. The work is from the inside out. You're gonna. You're gonna want to transform from. The, that's what Saturn's gonna do over three years. It's going to transform you. Gonna take away, take everything away, all of your resources, everything that you thought you could rely on, and make you do it yourself, and make you build up your own internal resources. And the reason why Saturn does that is because he wants you to cultivate self-respect a personal Saturn rules integrity a personal sense of integrity I'm exiting my Saturn return with this Aquarius so I already got everything taken away from me when Saturn entered Capricorn um, three years ago in December 2017 so that use that as an example the Capricorn area of your life look over there and and see what what it what your life looks like now because it doesn't look anything like it did three years ago when he first entered Capricorn and when he first entered Capricorn he showed you where all the cracks in the foundation were all of the structures that were too weak to sustain his judgments and his criticisms and his stress testing Saturn's going to stress test that area of your life and he's going to make you rebuild and make you stronger because of it. So with Saturn exiting Capricorn, he went and just took away the authority figures that you thought had authority. He took away the prestige, the notoriety, the um, accolades, the, um, the self-assurance, power. That was the Me Too movement. No one thought Harvey would fall. And he did. All right, Saturn, so it's it, that's like one example, but it's different. Nothing will ever be the same after that. 
And so that's what he did in your area of life where that Capricorn is and Pluto has been there since 2008 and Jupiter has been there the past year. So now with Saturn moving into Aquarius, he's got Jupiter with him. Very different energy than when he dipped into Aquarius in um, the spring of 2020, earlier this year. So it's going to have a different vibe to it. You're going to have a little bit of help. But the first thing he's going to do is show you all of the lies, all of the ego. The two biggest egos in the Zodiac are Leo and Aquarius. And Aquarius is as far from the heart center as you get. That's why you can just really disconnect really disconnect from what you're feeling, from what your heart wants, from what your authenticity is. Because Leo rules your creations from the heart. Leo rules your the children of your mind, the children of your heart, the children of your talents, the child your physical children. Because it's from you. It's like your best, your most authentic. And it's supposed to serve the the collective to Aquarius. Aquarius is supposed to be humanitarian. Aquarius is supposed to be the people. So another thing with Saturn and Jupiter, we're seeing power shifting from those power figures in Capricorn, which revealed all of the weakest people and revealed all of these powerful people that turned out to actually be nothing. And the power is going back into the people. So globally, I'm getting a little bit wider now here. It's going to show us this Saturn Aquarius shift. It's going to show us all of how we're not taking care of the people, showing us all of our flaws in society, showing all of the, um, the foundational cracks in how we've been serving the people so that we can fix it and make it better. I was supposed to just focus on body dysmorphia, but this is what happened. So um, just be aware of that if you are having, go to astro.com, astrodeans, to plug in your birth date, time, and location and see where Saturn is in your chart. Because if it's an Aquarius, welcome to your Saturn return in December. And I will talk more about that and, um, and I'll have more videos and stuff like that. We'll be, it'll be fun. So I love you guys. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Mwah.